Masters. Today is Friday the 8th of January and today in Maths we are going to be calculating number bonds to 10. Now do you remember this week you've been using your 10 frame to find different ways to make 10 and today we're going to calculate some missing numbers. Okay so yesterday we were learnt which numbers make 10 when they are put together and we watched 10 again with the number block so if you'd like to you can go back and watch that episode again otherwise if you want to stay with me we're going to start off by having a little dance and singing along to our number pair song okay so let's get up and moving one and nine two and eight one and nine two and eight one and nine two and eight three and seven number pairs that make ten number pairs that make ten four and six five and five four and six five and five four and six five and five three and seven Number pairs that make ten. Number pairs that make ten. Great job. I hope that woke you up a bit and you started to sing along to our song. I lost my chair there. Okay. We're going to play a game with our fingers and it's called Find the Pair. So I want you to hold up your fingers on one hand and then count how many fingers are still down on both hands to find out our number pairs that make 10. So let's start with, I'm going to hold up four fingers, which means I must have six fingers left because four and six make 10. If you look at our PowerPoint there, you can see we've got the four block and the six number block to make 10. So let's count our missing fingers to check. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six more fingers. Fantastic. So we know four and six make 10. Okay. If you would like to pause the video and have a go with somebody else that you live with, then you can play that game for a couple of minutes. Otherwise, stick with me and we'll have a couple more goes together. So, getting fingers ready, I have five. I know that's five because I can do a high five with my hand. So, I've got five and hmm, five and what make ten? Five and one, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Five and five make ten. Okay, last round. I've got, got three fingers up. I wonder how many fingers are down. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. So three and seven make ten. Great job. Okay. Moving on, we're going to explore number bonds to 10 on our tens frame. We're going to look at how many cubes are in the frame already, but the challenge is to find out how many more do we need to make 10. So let's have a look. I wonder if you can just tell that there are three cubes there, or if you're still counting, that's fine. We'll check them and count them. One, two, three. Three. There are three yellow cubes. But how many more do we need to make ten? This time we're going to count the empty spaces. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven empty spaces. I'm moving the little white arrow each time I count, so maybe you can count with me. So we know that three yellow cubes and seven spaces are the same as 10. Have a look at our number sentence there and say it with me. Three and seven is the same as 10. Great job, your turn.
Okay, and one more time all together. Three and seven is the same as ten. Good work. Okay, let's see if we can make it a bit trickier for you by looking at it the other way around because now we could say seven spaces and three cubes are also the same as ten. Your turn. Great. Let's say it together. Seven add three is the same as ten. Good job. Okay, I think you're ready for the next challenge. Let's take a look. Oh, this time we've got a whole row of blue cubes up there. Let's see how many we've got all together. So we know that if the top rows pull up, we know we've got five. So we've got five and one more makes six. So we have six blue cubes. Let's just count them individually to check. Two, three, four, five, six. So six and hmm, how many more do we need to make ten? Let's count the blank spaces, the empty spaces. Count with my little white arrow there. One, two, three, four. Four, well done. So we put four in the missing box of our number sentence there. Now, I'm going to say it, then you say it, and we all say it together. Six add four is the same as ten. Your turn. Okay, and one go all together. Six add four is the same as ten. Good job. Now, again, we can look at it the other way. The so we had, first of all, we said six cubes and four spaces is the same as ten. Or we can say four spaces and six cubes is the same as ten. Together, four and six is the same as ten. Your turn. And all together, four and six is the same as ten. 10. Amazing. You're great at this. Okay. Oh, some black cubes now. Our final challenge. We have lots here. Now, again, we still know that if the top row is full, that's five. So we'll put five in our head and carry on counting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine black cubes. We have nine in our number sentence there. And it says Add how many more to make 10? Shout out. Great, you can see there's only one blank space, so we must need one more to make 10. So our number sentence now reads, nine add one makes 10. Your turn. Great job. And lastly, all together, nine and one makes 10. Fantastic. Don't forget, we can look at it the other way around. So one empty space and nine cubes makes 10. Your turn, one and nine makes 10. All together, one and nine makes 10. You're amazing at this. Great job. So it's so simple. Your challenge now is to calculate this on your own and fill in your number sentence. So, what I would like you to do is, using your 10 frame that you've had earlier in the week, we're going to look at each of these challenges. Now, the first challenge tells us to put in four counters in our number frame, uh, sorry, in our 10 frame. So, I'm going to put in, I'm using pieces of paper, so I'm going to stick in four pieces of paper here. One, two, Three, four. Oh, oh no, that's not quite right, is it? Ah, I've made a mess. I need to remember to put one item in each square. So, one, 
two, three, four. Now I'm going to write my number sentence. So I would like you to write your number sentence in your book or on a piece of paper. And I'm going to write down here four. Add how many? Now I need the challenge here is to find out how many more items I need to make ten. So you can start off by writing your number challenge four, sorry, your number sentence four plus how many makes ten. Right, so now we're gonna calculate, we're gonna count the missing the empty spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to write in six here. Remember to use your number line if you're not sure of how to form your numbers, if you want to go back and check. And make sure that you have them written the correct way around. Okay, that was great for your first challenge. Then I'm just going to give you an example of the next challenge. The next one says 5 plus how many makes 10. So I'm going to add an item to my 10 frame. So I've added a piece of paper there to my 10 frame. Now I'm going to write out my number sentence. 5 plus how many equals 10. Now I need to go back and fill in this empty space. So I'm going to count, I've got one, two, three, four, five pieces of paper already and I want to find out how many blank frames I have. <gasps> but I already know. If I have a whole row that's blank, that's five. So I know now that five and five make ten. Got it? Good. Okay, I hope now that you can continue through the challenges, adding one more each time to find out how many more you need to write, uh, how many more you need to make 10 and write a number sentence for each of your discoveries. Good luck and I hope you enjoy it. I look forward to seeing what work you're doing. Take care. Bye.